The drafters of the bill anticipate that the solicitations and awards under the bill and the subsequent regulations would be reviewed annually by the Director of Audit for Conformity. Leader of Government Business in the Senate, Senator the Honorable Errol Court, says the bill will repeal the Tenders Board Act. That once this bill is passed, gazetted, and comes into force pursuant to Section 1, when the minister deems it necessary, it will then serve to repeal the Tenders Board Act. And that is why you have that final provision at Clause 55, dealing with the repeal of the Tenders Board Act, Cap 424A of the laws of Antigua and Barbuda. Leader of the Senate Minority, the Honorable Gail Christian, believes that the bill lacks meaningful details. My sole recommendation on this bill is this, that there be a committee of this House comprising of three of the members, and I will tell you who I think the three ought to be. The leader of government business in the Senate, the former finance minister, the Honorable Joanne Messiah, given the recent portfolio she was given the other day as it relates to trade, and our very own Senator Lennox Weston of Uncut fame because of his expertise in finance. But Barbuda Senator, the Honorable Randolph Beezer, says the bill is comprehensive and reflects the transparency associated with the United Progressive Party administration. It seeks to promote transparency and accountability, and these are watchwords of this government since it um, assumed power in 2004. And Madam President, last but not least, it is a comprehensive bill. And I want to commend the AG and all persons involved and by extension, the government of Antigua and Barbuda for this particular effort. Tracy Cornelius Hernandez, ABS News.